What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Forza Horizon 5 video here in Mexico. Today I'm just going to go over a quick little method to help you get some more super wheel spins if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, but this is the one pertaining to the Jeep wheelie. So we're going to jump over to the festival. Actually we can go into the street race scene here. Um, so this is something that's important. You definitely want to be inside the uh, inside a festival or inside a house um, just because it'll make this a little bit easier. So what we need to do, let's go to the car collection here. Um, basically, you're going to be uh, buying a Willys Jeep for 40,000 credits. As you can see here, if you're in the car collection, you can actually hit Y on any of the cars in here. And if they're in the auto show, it'll let you buy them. If they're not, it'll tell you how you can get them. Let me see if I can find one uh, real quick that tells us how to get it. Okay, so it actually doesn't let you hit Y on it, but if you hit A, then it'll tell you what it's available from and how it may appear as well. So as you can see, the, the Subaru 22B STI version, which is coming in the next season, I think, um, you can also get it from wheel spins, but it'll also be in seasonal events, festival playlist, or the forces on shop. So it's nice that that's there. But basically what we want to do for our purposes is we're going to come down to Willie's Jeep and you can do this on the Toyota Supra as well. The, uh, Mark four. Um, so you can do it on the 2020 GR Supra or the Mark five, not the Mark four. I think I said Mark four, but no. You can do it on the Mark V, which is the 2020 Supra, but it costs you 55,000 credits each time. And so the Willys Jeep is the most cost efficient one. So you will need at least 40 grand to start this. And I would suggest having at least 120 grand because you do get a super wheel spin from it, but it also doesn't necessarily mean you'll get money. So you want to make sure that you have at least three, I would say, are a good bank to at least make that money back that you have initially invested in it. So uh, basically what you do here is you just hit Y and hit buy. And the nice thing from here is you can just continually do this. So I'm just going to buy a few here. Um, and it's going to put a different Willys Jeep in our garage each time we do this, rather than having to go to the auto show and then, you know, go through all the cutscene of buying the car. This is much quicker, much, much quicker. And then we'll buy one more just for good measure. So, all right. So that was each 40 grand there. So if we go to the garage, you can see here, I think one of these is going to, this one here, I just need to get rid of it because it's one of the ones that I use to just do the testing. So I'm going to remove it from garage. All right. And then all of these nine here, you can see they say new on them. So that's something really important to note. So what you'll do is you'll just click into one of them. I usually go to the far end one first. So click into one get in car then it'll load it up here and then basically what you want to do is just go to upgrade and tuning go over here to car mastery and you're gonna to have to spend four skill points or five skill points sorry five skill points so you're gonna buy the instant xp which is 70,000 xp which is crazy amount of xp um, cause realistically, once you buy three of these, you're actually going to rank up your level one time, depending on if you don't have a full level, cause each level in horizon five is 15,000 XP. So you'll rank up your actual level and get normal wheel spins on top of all of that in this method, but you'll buy that. As you can see, I just went to level one from 199. So I did prestige. If that's what you want to call it, you'll buy the impressive durability. And then you'll go up and buy a super wheel spin. And so it's very important that you do this, especially if you want to, you know, build them up. You want to do this in your garage, because I think if you're out driving and you do this, it will go ahead and spin the super wheel spin for you. So um, now that that one's done, we just go back to the garage. It's going to have it over here on the far left. Um, what I do is I just hit my left bumper and it takes me all the way to the end because that's where the Willys Jeeps are. And then I just get in the next one and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to buy those three skills real quick. So upgrade and tuning, car mastery, XP, that one, and the super wheel spin. And so 
now when I go back into the garage, so this will be well, this one here. You can see it doesn't say new anymore. So that means that I've been in the car. So that's a good way to note which ones you've done and which ones you haven't done yet. So I'm going to go up here to the one that says new, click into it, get in the car. And then go to, not that, go to the upgraded tuning, car mastery, do the same thing here. And back out my cars all the way over here so you can see these far too no longer say that they are new so that's a good way like i said to keep track of that um but yeah you'll get one wheel spin for every jeep so i'll just do this one and then i should have i already have some wheel spins built up for our wheel spin wednesday episode if you want to check that out it will be on the channel tomorrow um but i'll do that one so i just spent so if I just did those four, so I just did four, correct? So one, two, three, four, right? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to go out of the garage and do those wheel spins just so you can see, you know, what kind of money you could potentially expect to see back. So if I go to here, and again, I do have more super wheel spins because I'm saving them up. So this is one. Let's see what we have. So train, so we already made 100,000 there. So with four cars, we've spent 160,000 credits. So we're already on a good track to make our money back. That pays for two and a half of them right there. Um, so And we got a WRX as well. So we'll spend, we'll spend number two. So 175,000 credits. That one paid for all four of them alone. So... And we got two Nissan Silvias, which is really awesome. I'm going to go ahead and spin the other two just for the sake of it, just to see what we make. Almost got a Forza Edition car. So that there is 100, 260,000, if my math is right. Roughly 260,000. So well over that money there. And then for the last one that we would have made. We get the Forza Edition Mercedes-Benz truck, 25000 and the Golf from 1998. So there's a chance that you, I mean, there's a rare chance that you might not get very much money. You may not make your money back, but there's a bigger chance that you're going to get, you know, another car, plus at least make your money back. And again, I got a Forza Edition truck on the four spins. So, and I think I made close to 400-ish thousand credits on a 160,000 credit investment into the Jeeps. So, not too bad. Um, I'll show you what else you need to do for this because um, obviously you're not going to want those Jeeps staying in your garage. So, basically, you can see the ones that are still new. Those are the ones that I haven't done yet. So, with the ones that aren't or don't have new on them, you just click into them, hit remove from garage, and just remove those cars out. It does help if you start from the far right because if you start from, like, this one, I'm not going to do it. Because that would remove that and just waste forty thousand dollars. But um, if you remove that car, like if I start from the far right, like I just did, you see it moves down to the next Jeep. If I did this one here after I removed it, it would move over to this car, and so you'd have to keep like flipping back and forth. So just a a quick little video I thought I'd throw together for you guys, um, just in case you didn't know about it. It is a good way to make some money, um, especially if you are just starting out, because you can buy the Willys Jeep from the garage. You know, if you buy one, you may potentially be able to make your money back. But again, you did see that one wheel spin, the last one, where we only made 25,000 credits. So you may not necessarily make your money back. You'll probably get some cars with it. Uh, but it's worth a shot if you've got a couple thousand, 100,000 credits around. And you may want to potentially, you know, double those or whatnot. So hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful. If you did, definitely leave a like on the video. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 5 content. If you want, I can make a video on the current AFK Goliath uh, method to additionally make some... You don't really make money necessarily on that method. You rank up from that method, which gives you wheel spins, which gives you money. So, But let me know if you want a, uh, a video on that, and I can definitely do that. But I hope you guys do have a great rest of your day, and we will see you in the next video.